Excuse me. I'm participating in the tournament. Your name? Claude C. Kenny. Kenny, ah, yes. First of all, please give me all of your weapons and items. We'll be keeping them here for you. All right. Now I'll give you the equipment sent to us by your sponsoring weapon shop. You'll receive the rest of your usable items before the battle begins. So check with the arena agent for details. For now, you're all set. Please relax in the waiting room until the tournament begins. Thank you. Excuse me, has my weapon arrived yet? You're DS Flack, right? I'm sorry, we haven't received anything from your weapon shop. How much time do I have? Well, given the circumstances, we'll extend the deadline to just before the start of your first match. Would you perhaps be able to visit your weapon shop and see what the situation is? I don't need you to remind me. Diaz! Reyna, what do you want? Is Gamji's weapon here yet? What's it to you? Everything! I'm the one who introduced you to him. Introduced him? What's all this about, Reyna? Uh. It's nothing. She was just in the right place at the right time. Nothing to get jealous over, Claude. What? Stop thinking about it. It's my problem, not yours. I'm sorry. I need to go with Diaz for a moment. Reyna! Diaz can't fight in the tournament without a weapon. You don't want to lose your chance to fight him, do you? What are you waiting for? Go if he means that much to you. Claude, it's not like that. Well, you're the one picking out weapons for Diaz. Whose side are you on here anyway? Claude, why are you saying this? Why do you think, Reyna? Diaz, wait! Not again. You really enjoy giving your friends the wrong idea, don't you? Well, what do you want me to do? It's too late to turn back now. Come on. We gotta find that old man before I run out of time. Where should we begin? We'll try his place first. Sophia, tell me. My... my granddad! Diaz, you're scaring her. Calm down! Sophia, we came to help you and Gamji. Where is your grandfather? We were going to the castle together, and these men came and took my granddad's sword! He didn't try to fight back, did he? They ran off, and he started chasing after them, and I don't know what happened after... Damn, this guy comes with a lot of baggage. Sophia, do you have any idea where Gamji and those men could have gone? I don't know! If they're in the tournament, then they have to be in town. They weren't in the tournament area. If I had to guess, they're probably drinking to their good fortune right now. So that means... Quick! To the tavern, Reyna! Who 
for you. Sorry about crashing your little party here, but I'm here to take my sword back. Well, what are you talking about? I don't know nothing about no sword. You'll have to do better than that, punk. What about that one hanging off your waist? Ah, guess there's no point hiding it anymore. How about we find out how sharp this sword really is, huh? Oops, look out! How annoying. Crescent Claw Air Slash! <laughs> that was an easy That was a win. waste of time. Why would these men do this? Don't you remember? These are the guys who were picking on Sufia the night I ran into you. Oh. But they said they were gonna settle things with you during the tournament. They realized they didn't have a chance. Either they found out who I was, or they heard about the reputation that Gamji had. That... that's just not how you do things. Well, you got people like these, and then you get idiots who plow head-on into every battle in front of them. Who are you talking about? Don't look at me. Anyway, let's go. We're gonna be late. Where do you think Gamji is, though? I doubt they did anything that rough to him, but I have to admit that I'm a little worried. Sorry I'm late. You still taking registrations? I'm D.S. Flack. Ah, Mr. Flack. Did you find your weapon? Like this one here? You see Gamji's inscription on the blade? Yes, that matches what we have in the books. Very good. Get on over to the arena. Your first match will be starting in a few minutes. Right. Thanks for helping me look for this, Reyna. Sorry I forgot to thank you till now. Dias. back. Hey everyone, sorry I'm late. Reyna, I won my first round match. Really? It's still only the first round and he's already showing us what he's made of. Oh, I'm sorry. I wouldn't have left right before your fight if I had known you were the very first match. It's okay. Besides, you were angry at me. Dias is up next. The eighth match of round one pits Thomas Nelson against Dias Flack. Dias was almost disqualified from the tournament, but he's got his weapon and he's ready for action. Let's see what they've got in store for us. Mere pawns. Crescent cross! Air flash! Two air flash! What a waste of time. And there he goes! DS Black has won the eighth match of round one! Let's give him a round of applause!
Oh. oh, he made it just in time. Um, so Reyna, what happened with Dias? It was nothing serious. Some guy stole Dias's weapon to keep him from entering the tournament. That's all. I'll let you off the hook for now. But you better believe we'll be wanting to hear more from you later. That's fine with you, right, Claude? Huh? Uh, what's this about? Pardon me, Mr. Kinney. Round two is about to get started, so could you return to the waiting room? Oh, sure. Good luck. Try not to lose. Claude, do your best, okay? I'll be watching. Got it. I hope Gamji was able to see Dias's match. Hey, isn't that Gamji over on the other side of the arena? I am. My sword's fighting out there. You think I wouldn't come to see that? Would you mind cheering on Dias for me? There's someone else in the contest I need to look after. Oh, then I'll do my best to yell my lungs out for you, okay? Thanks, Gamji. Incredible! He's made it to the semifinals. Wow, my heartbeat's going crazy here. Dias's match in the second round is up soon, right? Looks that way. Judging by his first round performance, he's certainly more than capable with a sword. Well, maybe. And here comes Diaz now. Ah! The, the final, final match, match of the, the second, second round pits Edwin Millward against Diaz Flack. Diaz has garnered a lot of attention for himself in this tournament, and Edwin has a lot to prove himself. Who's gonna run away? The 
Aeneas Flax storm through his first round matchup. His opponent in the second round is Anwin Millward. Diaz has garnered a lot of attention for himself in this tournament, and Anwin has a lot to prove himself. Who's going to run away with it? How annoying. Air Slash! Is that all? Diaz has done it again! The hero of the hour, Diaz Black, has won the final match of round two! What do the semifinals have in store for us? You'll just have to sit and watch! I knew Diaz had it in him. He seems to get stronger every time I see him. So it could really happen. Claude and Diaz fighting in the final round. Do you think Claude can beat Diaz? I don't know, but I told Claude that I'll be watching him, and that's what I'm gonna do right until the very end. You're a determined girl, Reyna, and somehow gentle at the same time. It's only going to get hotter and hotter from here! Well, he really made it all the way to the finals. You've made it to the finals, Claude! That's amazing! I can barely believe it myself. You've been impressive throughout the entire tournament, Claude. You've gotten so much stronger. There's something I need to ask, though. Yes? Is Diaz still in it? The smoke, the smoke has cleared. cleared. It's, it's time for the, the second, second semifinal, semifinal match. match. And, and what a match it is! has brought these two fighters against each other, and fate will allow only one of them to survive. Diaz Black has dominated every match so far. Can Grand LaRoss put a stop to his mad rush? Here they come! Don't air slash! Is that all? It's all over! We have our second finalist! Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the second match, Diaz Black! He's still in it. He's been in control the entire tournament. You don't have to tell me, that's for sure. Even I can see how strong he is. Claude, are you starting to think that you don't have a chance? It's not that. Seeing how strong he is just makes me want to put everything I've got into this battle. Well said. Sorry to bother you. Since the final match is about to begin, I'll need you to be over in the waiting room. Sure. Claude! Hang in there! Do it!
the moment you've all been waiting for. The explosive conclusion to the liqueur armory contest. Claude C. Kenny, DS Flack. One battle to decide it all. Who will be the crown champion? Who is going to reign as the best swordsman in the land? This is back. It's already over, Claude. It's over? So I... I... I'm sorry. You almost won, but he beat you at the very end. Oh, funny. I don't remember any of that. Dias! I don't think you're in any shape to talk like that to me but I'll just ignore it for now. What do you want? I thought I'd come over to thank you. Thank me? You were better than I ever expected. I haven't had to put 100% into a fight in ages. Me? Don't get the wrong idea. It wasn't a compliment. Wh what You try not to spoil him either, Reyna. It'll be better for him if you keep him on a long leash. What are you talking about, Dias? That's all I wanted to say. I need to get going. Dias! What? Will I see you again? Certainly, if the time comes. We should leave too. Are you sure you're okay to go? I'm still feeling a little lightheaded, but that's all. Must have been out for a while. Oh, that would be thanks to all the spells Reyna had cast on you. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Now then, why don't we take some of that energy and focus it on the Sorcery Globe investigation? The first thing to do is to go to Linga and get that book of ours deciphered. All right, Linga's our next stop then. Oh, but before we leave, we need to go claim your second place prize. Oh, there was a second place prize? I didn't know that. Claude? <laughs> Sorry.
Hey, it's you, Reyna! Who are these people, Reyna? This man forged the sword Dias used in the tournament. Dias's sword? You there! You fought in the tournament, didn't you? Yes, sir. Actually, Claude was the one with Dias in the final match. Of course, of course! I watched the whole thing. That was a very close fight. It could have gone either way in the end. Oh, I wasn't anywhere near that. Dias had nothing but good things to say about your sword fighting, you know. Said he's looking forward to seeing you mature. He said that? In fact, uh, he told me to give you something if I happen to run into you afterwards. You're giving this to me? That's another one of the swords I've made. He said it'd be a good fit for your size. Dias said that? That guy's pretty shy, isn't he? It'd be a lot easier if he just told you all of this himself. So, does this mean he sees me as some kind of rival then? everything squared away. First off, we're heading for Linga, right? Yep. We need to find someone who can read the ancient text for us. With some luck, it should give us some sort of clue behind the origin of the sorcery globe. Yeah, that too. The town's located more or less south of Lakur, if I recall correctly. Sounds good. Let's go. You all right? Uh, oh, I can't drink anymore. That man's pretty drunk. I can smell the alcohol all the way over here. I'd say I've won this round. Can I get an answer to my question now? You do remember that you promised to tell me whatever I wanted if I beat you in a drinking contest. What? What do you want? Does the name Ernest ring a bell? He's a man with three eyes, just like me. Uh, nope. I never seen or heard of him. <laughs> he fell asleep. So nothing again. Well, not that I was expecting very much. I might as well try asking you guys next. Have any of you seen a man with three eyes? I think so, yes. Oh. Well, I knew that finding him wouldn't be easy from the start. Wait, you saw him? I don't know if he's earnest or not, but yes. When? Where did you see him? A little while ago, near Cross Castle. So he's at Cross. Ah, oh, that's right. I should at least introduce myself. 
My name is Opera. Opera Vectra. My name's Reina. Reina Lanford. Well, thank you, Reina. But I need to get a move on to Cross. If we ever meet again, I'd love to talk some more. We've come here today, Your Majesty, to consult with you regarding some important matters. Oh? And what would that be? Has a woman with three eyes visited you in the past? A woman with three eyes, indeed. I just concluded an audience with her, in fact. She came to ask me about a meeting I had with a three-eyed man several days prior. A man? Quite so. He had come seeking permission to enter the Mountain Palace. The Mountain Palace? Yes, it's the name we give to the cave by Lake Cole. It's been tended to by generations of castle stewards. You can find it north of the city. Opera can't be too far behind, then. Indeed, I imagine she went to the Mountain Palace herself. Right after she heard my story, she asked for permission to enter. Um, would you be able to give us permission to enter as well? Oh, certainly. I must warn you, however, that you'll need to be careful. Monsters have taken up residence in the caves as of late. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Not at all. I will inform the guard about you post-haste. A gift for the road. Thank you, Your Majesty.
very nice. Yeah. 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 
was easier than I thought.
Why does this place have to be so dusty? It's driving me nuts. Well, we are in a cave. Hmm, that's right. You have a point. Oh, you're Reyna, aren't you? Can I... can I help you with something? Yes, actually. Do you have a moment? Hey, wait a minute! What are you two talking about? Oh, uh... Sorry, folks, but we aren't in that kind of relationship. Besides, I already have somebody in my life. My friend Ernest. He's actually an archaeologist. He ran off into the frontiers of space all of a sudden, saying it was for his research or something. So that's why I'm here. I'm trying to track down his whereabouts. You do realize how dangerous this place is. Yeah, well, that's love, right? So, you think Ernest is in here somewhere? He should be. See? Look for yourself. This used to be a wall here. Judging by the remains, it couldn't have been destroyed very long ago. Makes sense. So I was trying to go deeper inside this cave but I don't think I can make it through here by myself. Hey, would you guys mind sticking with me in here? You can have all the treasures, or whatever, along the way. What do you think, Reyna? Sounds like a plan. I say let's do it. What do you think, everyone? No objections here. Well, there you have it. You're on the team. Thanks, guys. You're really helping me out here. Easier than I thought. 
only too weak. here. Looks like Ernest's handiwork. A single shot from an AP3 plasma launcher. The Firefly, as we call it. Oh, that's some kind of gear he has. Outlawed throughout the galaxy too, I think. What are you talking about? We were just verifying the cause of death here. They're still alive! Typical Ernest. He didn't finish them off. Come <laughs> on! 
I'd say that was 8 out of 10. Already? Ooh, great! This isn't unexpected. Huh. Do you think these monsters have lived here their whole lives? I'd imagine so, yeah. Sorry, guys. You were just trying to protect your home, weren't you? Look, you can't apologize to every monster you kill. There's not enough time in the world for that. If you sympathize with your enemy too much, it'll come back to bite you in the end. You're a very strong woman. Well, I have someone important waiting for me. I couldn't have made it this far without that sort of resolve. Let's keep going. Ernest might still be in here. Yeah. What's a room like this doing in the middle of a cave? A hidden laboratory. What was he doing here anyway? Are you saying he built this room? No, I think it's the king's private penthouse. What do you think I'm saying? I think this is the end of the cave, and it looks like Ernest is nowhere to be found. You're right. Now what will I do? Well, you could always join our group. Hmm. I could. I've lost the one good lead I had. Maybe I'll find another if I travel with you guys. We'd be glad to help you search for Ernest. It's easier to have a search party on your side instead of trying to look by yourself, isn't it? Thank you, everyone.
picked up this handkerchief earlier. I wonder if it belongs here. Pardon me. Is this your handkerchief? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. I thought I lost it. Thanks a lot, lady. My name is Eleanor. Certainly. My name is Opera. Don't lose it again, okay? Okay. See you around. Hey, uh, Opera? You're a traveler, aren't you? I sure am. Is it fun? Well, a lot of it is fun, I guess you could say. A lot of it, though, not so much. I didn't exactly start traveling by choice, after all. Hmm. Why do you ask? I've been very sick ever since I was born. I haven't seen anything except for what's outside the window. So I thought, you know, if I can't see the whole world for myself, then maybe I could hear all about it from lots of different people. Oh. So I wanted to ask you, can you tell me what the outside world is like? Well, certainly. I'll tell you anything you want to know. <laughs> Just ask me. Really? Thanks a lot, lady. Say, have you ever seen a rainbow? I sure have. Really? Was it pretty? Boy, I sure wish I could see one someday. I'm glad I ran into you. I was just about to go look for you. I overheard the whole conversation. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop on you. Listen, Reyna. Do you think you could cure Eleanor's sickness with your power? She's never left that bed her entire life. That's just sad. All right, I'll give it a try. Huh, what are you doing? It's all right. Don't worry. It's not working. I don't have enough power to cure this. Oh. I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault, Reyna. Sorry, Eleanor. I guess we don't have enough power to heal you after all. That's okay. Don't worry about it. I gave up on it a long time ago. I've had all kinds of doctors trying to help me. I'm just happy I got a chance to talk to you.
What are you up to, Opera? Oh, hey, Reyna. Just looking at a few accessories. Not that there's much to choose from around here, of course. I know what you mean. It's definitely not like it is in Cross. Still, I like how everything is done by hand. It gives it a kind of warmth. Done by hand? How else would you do it if you weren't using your own hands? Oh, uh, yeah, you've got a point there. Um, but anyway, Reyna, do you ever do much accessorizing with your wardrobe? Oh, sure. I love accessories. I guess all girls love it. I don't have much money to spend, though, so I don't really have a big collection to choose from. Oh? I'm sure you could get any guy to buy you whatever you want, Reyna. You're cute enough for that. R really Hmm. Are you saying nobody's ever given you jewelry as a present, Reyna? I see. Why don't you start dropping some hints around the men in your life? You won't have to wait too long, no doubt about that. I know. Why don't you try Claude first? I don't think he'd have any problem filling a request from cute little Reyna. I... I don't know. Honestly, I'd be very happy if he did. Aha! The truth finally comes out. Well, I really would be. If that actually happened, of course. <laughs> oh, I love seeing young people in love. Everything seems so fresh and new when you're that age. Just show him how you feel, all right? You're still only 23 years old, Opera. No, I'm already 23 years old. Is that how you see it? Well, that's how it ends up, really. When you get older, all this stuff gets in the way. It gets harder to really lay your emotions out for everyone to see. So if you like Claude, you better call dibs on him while you still have the chance. He's got what it takes to be a really great guy. But how do you know for sure it'll happen? I'm not saying you should just sit and wait. You have to be together with him, polish him up, you know? Even if you had a hundred carat diamond in your hand, it's just a piece of rock until you cut it right. That's quite an analogy. I'm telling you as a friend with a lot more experience about life than you, so take it to heart for me, okay? All right. Reyna. Hello, Opera. What are you doing? Nothing much. Just looking around a little. Oh, say, Reyna, are you interested in making a little bet? A bet? Yeah, nothing big, of course. Let's try guessing whether the next person coming out of the store is a man or a woman. Easy, right? If I lose, then I'll do anything you tell me to. I'll pass. Oh, too bad. I don't really like to gamble. Sorry, Opera.
cannot transmit or receive messages. You are out of emergency broadcast range. Ah, no dice. I wonder if one of the points of light up there is Earth. Of course, even if I knew which one it was, it's not like I could ever go there. Hope Mom and Dad are doing all right. Seems like all I've done is given them reasons to worry about me. Claude? What am I going to do? I don't think anybody's noticed yet. Uh, uh. Ugh. If I gain any more weight, I won't have any clothes left to wear. Uh. Oh, hello there, Reyna. What are you doing here? I, uh, you know, just wandering around. <laughs> wandering around, are you? Y yeah, pretty much. Um, by the way, Reyna, were you listening to me just now? Well, um... You don't have to obsess over your weight, Celine. You heard me. Yeah, I did. Well, what's done is done. Look, I beg you, Reyna, do not tell anyone else about what you heard. Just pretend it didn't happen, okay? Sure, no problem. 